guys welcome back to your vision fan hello guys hello everyone the next country to select the eurovision 2024 entry is san marino after a rather uh, complicated national final with uh, heats with the uh, second chance round and a big final uh, san marino have chosen megara to represent them in eurovision 2024 for uh, those uh, who have watched uh, the national finals throughout uh, the recent years. Megara are a Spanish rock band. They also took part in uh, the Benidorm Fest 2023. Let's listen to the song. Okay, we're gonna have a show. This is my first time listening to the song. Nice start. Some uh, chained people on stage. The typical uh, black and pink uh, colors. Okay, her vocals are decent. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of songs. Classic Megara style. The song is in Spanish. Okay, the vocals are good. It's okay. There are clothes in black and pink color. A nice rock song. And of course, this will translate completely differently in the Eurovision stage. I don't like the stage look. Her voice is okay. For all of you that don't speak Spanish, she said that uh, something like, if you don't want me, there are others who will want me. Maybe this is a message to Benidorm Fest. A good song for Samarino. The outfit, it's okay. The song is in Spanish. My problem is that it's not catchy. Like, I'm not sure if people will remember this entry. Now that saying the women take off their coats and masks and they're dressed like skeletons. I needed something different in the chorus, I think. I like the instrumental part, like in the bridge. Nice bridge. Okay. A nice uh, Spanish guitar solo in the rock song. This is a very nice addition. I think that the staging will elevate the song in Malmö. Because I like the concept with the neon pink and the skeletons. It's something unique, of course. Dancing not good, does not fit. Oh, they also added Italian in the very last chorus. The lead singer is super charismatic. I like her delivery. We also see Italian at the end. If you don't want me, other people will want me. I like this lyric. <laughs> it has uh, an interesting message. So, overall, it's uh, an okay rock song with uh, typical rock lyrics in Spanish and uh, Italian. The performance is an okay rock performance. Uh, maybe there's a bit um, too much stuff happening on stage, but... Uh, it's also memorable, it's okay. I'm not sure about the song. I'm not sure about the song. It's not bad, but it's forgettable. Like, it doesn't have uh, a chorus that will hit hard, will stuck on your mind. This is an entry that, at this point, I can only compare it with Czechia. I really like Czechia, but I think that the song is catchier than San Marino. Will this be enough for them to qualify on the grand final? I don't know. So, San Marino, I think they have changed to go to the final. The second semi-final is difficult. They need to change the stage look for sure. 
and we see. Now, for Eurovision, I really have no idea how well they could do. I mean, um, they are in uh, the second semi-final together with uh, Italy and Spain, so I guess this is some guaranteed points for them. Uh, but um, I don't know if other countries uh, would vote for this song, for this performance. But uh, maybe if uh, they manage to make it a bit uh, stronger, a bit more memorable, they could uh, maybe with some luck qualify for the big final. But uh, I don't think they will do big things in the final if they qualify. Overall, it's a nice entry. It's uh, considering it's San Marino, which is not a very strong country in Eurovision. It's uh, an okay song. So I wish them best of luck, and I hope to see them in the big final. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Eurovision Fan, and see you in another one. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Good luck, San Marino and Megara. Bye.